Hello, all you wonderful people. My name is Barry Infos, and welcome, guys, to supposedly the last episode of this whole entire playthrough. Oh, it has been a long time, guys. 18 episodes, actually 17 episodes, and this is the 18th episode. So, so, so much time has passed. So many weeks, so many months. And I hope you guys stuck around. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough, and I hope. You're gonna miss it, because I'm gonna certainly miss it, it was a great playthrough. So what is this playthrough? This is the Oh Komod, some people may be joining in right now. If you are joining in right now, then what the heck are you doing? Go at the start and watch the 18 episodes. But anyway, what is this? This is a Oh Komod playthrough, and OHKO mod is basically a mod which adds one hit point to you. You can die from pretty much anything at any given time. Let me demonstrate. I guess I didn't. Okay, let me demonstrate in a little bit then. <laughs> so these guys shoot me, which is pretty unfortunate. Am I gonna demonstrate soon? Come on, mister. Okay, so I'm pretty very careful here as you can see. Every single person can shoot me in this mission, so I'm very very careful. Who's shooting at me? Was that a helicopter? Could be. Yeah, so guys, so that. One shot and I'm dead. And again, <laughs> another demonstration. So, the OHKO mod what's, uh, adds one hit point to me. I can die from pretty much anything. And then, I also added a summer mod. This is a summer mod playthrough with a twist. So, the summer mod is also installed. It is called Endless Summer. It's in the description. You can check it out. Pretty cool mod which adds a few useless things, which I removed, of course, and I also added some new colors. At night time they're not very visible. I'm mean, sure you can see the orange sky and stuff, but they're not super visible, which is unfortunate, but whatever. And this is pretty much it, yeah. I added three, three modes which add so much spice to the game. And today you guys are gonna finally see how many deaths total it took me. So, some people guessed in the first episode, in the comment section, how many times I'll die, and some people are gonna be correct, hopefully. Some people are gonna be uh, very far off from the, the truth. Some people could have said a thousand. Uh, let me... Uh, <laughs> I think it's safe to say I'm not gonna die a thousand times. Come on. Come on, seriously, a thousand times? No. And I'm not gonna die 50 times, because so far I have died 131 times. Let's see what the actual number is. Let's see, let's see how many people are gonna be correct. Probably nobody. Probably every single person, who knows. But this whole episode, from start to finish, is for this one single mission. This mission is enormous. It is not the most difficult mission. No, no, no. You saw in one of the previous episodes, which was a home in the hills, that mission took me 20 something attempts. 20 a lot attempts. This is not gonna take me that many deaths, okay. I mean, not attempts, but deaths. It took me that many deaths. So, how many is this gonna take me, huh? Oh, let's see. I gotta be super careful, very short, I don't know exactly where each person spawns, which is also a problem, I should know this, but... I mean, I don't look exactly for every single spot all the time. Here I have to, here I have to learn every single location for every single person. But otherwise, in the general gameplay, I just go guns blazing, shoot everyone and don't bother with learning every single spot. Sure, I have to learn a few things, but look at this, there's armor here, I can just pick it up. But no, in this mod I cannot. So I have to be careful. Okay, this room is a big pain in the bot in the bottom. Because you can't really see much. And everyone's shooting at you, you're the only target. So yeah, this whole mission is difficult. But it's not as difficult as some other missions. And I was expecting this to take me like 200 attempts, at least. But luckily we have checkpoints, guys. In this mission we have checkpoints. That's the best thing about it. It's ultra difficult, it's ultra long, sure, but at least you can save. It says automatically, because it's a checkpoint. 
and that's amazing. Now, I could say I wish more missions did this, but I don't actually want that. This is San Andreas, this is the successor of GTA 3, it should not have that. GTA 4, GTA 5, okay, okay, that's fine, you have, have your stupid checkpoints, but for these games, the starter games, it's a good thing they didn't add checkpoints. Or mission skips. I mean, GT5 added mission skips. What the hell, game? Come on, you're a GT game. Don't make it that easy on ourselves. Ugh. Of course, the choice. So I I can't fault them too much for that. But yeah, it, it adds so much easiness to the to the whole game. What I like about the GT3 universe games. Is a difficult, especially in GTA 3. GTA 3 is the hardest GTA game ever. If you play it for the first time, of course, if I play it now, I would uh, complete it in two hours, the whole game. Even an hour, yeah, an hour. You remember my winter mode playthrough, right? On GTA 3? It took me about an hour. Hour and ten minutes, I think, with a winter mod. Which makes gameplay very slow. So, can you imagine how long it's gonna take me without a mod? Yeah, not much at all. So as you can see, this is my first attempt going inside of here, and I'm doing super good, fantastically I'm doing, look at that, yeah, I'm just progressing very quickly, yeah, I was very surprised, I was expecting to die at the first, well I did, I did of course die at the start two times, but... Still, I survived so much in here, I also don't have that much ammo to spare, as you can see I have only 2600 bullets, not much at all, considering how, how often I shoot, because I'm so paranoid all the time. So the problem with this mission is that pedestrian, not pedestrians, enemies spawn after a while, so if you go, uh, for instance, if you go through this room and go up these stairs, two other guys are gonna spawn down below, which I of course did not know about. Which is such a problem. It's pretty bad. Also, this guy was a good shot, uh, unfortunately. Also, I got uh, pretty far here. This is the next room. And. Bam. I was expecting a guy here, but no. So I stopped to shoot him, but um, it did not work. And I think this is my completed attempt on this particular checkpoint. So I'll show you the whole checkpoint, the whole process, from the start to the finish. Even though you saw it already, I want to show it to you again. So what I usually do, is I just show you the deaths itself. If I have a bunch of deaths at the same exact spot, I show you only the death, because there's no reason to see the same thing like 5-6 times. So, whenever I progress, to the next checkpoint, for instance, I show you the whole process. Because I want you guys to see how I got there, what I did to get there, and show you what you should do if you play for yourselves. Because I would imagine that many people would play the mod too. And you really should, honestly, you really should. This mod is amazing. It changes the game so, so, so much. So far, I have done this part maybe four times, I think. Yeah, four times or five times. This may be my fifth time. So I know the majority of the spawn locations of the enemies. Again, not every single one, but I have learned a few new things after the previous attempts. And that's great. With every single attempt I get better and better, and the next time I play this game without the mod I will be just a god, <laughs> seriously. This game trained me so much, this mod, it trained me to be the, a, a much better player. And I really am, if I try this mission I would complete the first attempt, I, I always complete the first attempt, but I would do it so much faster, so much better. Which is great, it's great, I like learning new stuff about the game. I learned how to cover, how to 
do more damage, how how the aiming works exactly, because there's an aiming glitch. I guess it's a glitch, it could be a feature. But basically, if you get in a car, the accuracy of everyone, every enemy, every police officer, whatever, increases. However, if you go inside a bike, the accuracy decreases. So you can exploit this feature. You can just get a bike and go to this mission, for instance. And the accuracy is gonna be decreased significantly. Unfortunately, though, for this mission, you have to drive the. Uh, what's it called? The news tank? Is it called a news tank? I think it's called a news tank. Not news, but news. Yeah, so you drive the news tank and you. You know. You're in a vehicle, you're not in a bike. So the accuracy is increased. Alright, so this room sucks. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of people always going up and down, up and down, left and right all the time. There's people hiding here like this dumb here, look at him. There we go, he's dead. And there's gonna be two people who spawn below. Which is very bad. There should be indications about that, but no, this is San Andreas. San Andreas is amazing, it has the wonderful difficulty of GTA 3 and Vice City. So I'm super slow here, super slow, look at me. I never do this mission this way, I'm just going guns blazing quickly, just sprinting through with my minigun, but here I am very, very slow. Yeah, look at this. I was expecting these guys to spawn because I think I saw them before, in the previous attempt. Yeah, these two guys could kill you instantly if you're not paying attention, if you don't know they're there. But they are there and... holy crap. Also, do you see my ammo? My ammo is depleting rapidly, guys. 2400, I have to kill a big smoke who is big, so, <laughs> so he takes lots of shots, and then I have to return down here. Okay, bonus launch. I think this room is a little bit easier than the previous one, even though of course I died here, but still, it's a little bit easier. Okay, <laughs> look at me. Leroy! Or whatever it's called, yeah, Leroy! <laughs> Come on, or see joy, see joy. <laughs> All right, let's get inside. Slowly but surely, I'm just guns, guns blazing here, just plowing through everyone. <laughs> Again, I don't know every single location, and I'm super careful. I know there's a bunch of people here, so I am extremely careful with these stupid doors. Oh, that guy was so close. Have you guys ever played like this? I mean, seriously, like this. I have never played just like this. Sure, I have covered, I covered myself in uh, behind walls and such, but never like this, ex especially before this mod. The mod changed, changed my whole playstyle. It's so much different. Also, oh, this dude's spawn, I was waiting for him to spawn. Because sometimes I just go through and they kill me from behind. Ah, just, uh, you saw that actually, yeah. You saw that a few minutes ago. Yep. Very slow here. 2000 bullets, guys. 2000 only. Ugh. I was so nervous here, but I was not. I guess I was not that nervous, but... Oh, look at me slide! Look at this dude! Okay, big smoke time, guys! Uh -oh. So, with the minigun, what you can do is just shoot him like a so, and I got very lucky here, they could have easily shot me, but... Yeah, with the minigun, you just uh, shoot at him and it's done, pretty quickly. Let's take a picture. <laughs> okay, good, good idea, Mr. Infos. <laughs> okay, so that was a checkpoint. 
If I die, I start from here. Which is so good, guys. So good. Of course, I don't start from here. I go to the hospital and when I restore the mission, the mission puts me at this spot. That's a great thing for this mod. But for the general gameplay, I guess this makes it too easy. Yeah, because this, this part is pretty easy. But whatever is good, is good. Not complaining, but I, am, <laughs> I was expecting you, buddy. Uh -huh. So this was my first attempt at this part. Also, sorry for the darkness, I guess I would brighten the video. I think I will, I'm not sure. I could of course use the night vision goggles, but they add so much, um, too much green, I don't like the colors. It's also hard to see the fire, because later we're gonna see fire and it's a lot harder to see with the goggles. So I did not use them. Let's go here, this room is a nightmare too, because you can't see anybody. Also this dude almost killed me like a dummy. I mean, like the dummy I am, because he's not a dummy, he's shooting, he's doing his job, I guess. So I tried the goggles, but you really cannot see much, guys. I guess you could learn where each person spawns, because they have spawn locations, obviously, but that's not gonna be very good, because they also move all the time, so... Hmm, I don't know, can't tell you here what you can do in your playthrough, because uh, you may play it too. I hope you play it too. Seriously, do. And I hope you use this uh, playthrough as a guide of some sort. Because I don't think there's a walkthrough on this mod. Mm, there might be. Oh yes, I'm also using this here. Now, this I almost never use. Even if I don't have the firefighter thing, I just go through the fire. Of course, I take a bit of damage, but you can just jump it sometimes. So I don't always use it, but here I must. Seriously, because one bit of damage, one touch of the fire and I'm dead. Just dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah, which is very slow and we can't see much here, so it makes it even harder for me to go through. And the good thing about this part of the mission is that not many people spawn and not new, new people don't spawn too. So if you clear a room, it's clear, it's over, it's done. The room is completely done. But before it was not the case. Before you clear the room and all of a sudden, bam, two people spawn. And that sucks. Also, I'm very careful here. I'm shooting just in case. Making sure there's nobody. And look at that. Look at that. Did you see what happened? Huh? Mm. So, what happens here? Yeah, uh, first of all, that was uh, a complete bullcrap. There was no fire there and... Uh, uh, yeah, if I knew that there was gonna be fire there, I would have prevented me touching it. But no, I decided to spawn there. Mm. It was invisible, guys, invisible fire. Anyway, so what happens here? If you die after a checkpoint, you spawn at the hospital. You have to drive all the way back to the mission, to the marker here with sweet. I think I'm gonna save here too, and also restart the game. I should probably restart the game, cause... Uh, will I? I don't think I will, actually. Let's see, I don't remember. Let's see what I did. So I saved here. I saved, did not restart. Okay, I did not restart. Okay. Just gonna skip. Okay, I'm gonna skip the trip. Oh, there's no trip, right, 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 so you start from here, okay. So yeah, once you start, once you touch the marker, you start from that cutscene, you watch the cutscene and continue on. And I skipped the killings at the start, too, because you don't want to see that. Also, another dead here, he just, yeah, this is the same spot, I think, and he spawned from here, I think I killed him this time. Did he kill you, bro? Being very careful. Very careful, okay. He's done all, guys. They have 700 bullets. Or I guess 800, okay, 800 bullets. 
Actually, it's not 800, what am I talking about? It's 775 plus 500, which is a lot. 1300, something like that. Yep, wasted again. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's 136 so far. Is this guy's the last death? Was that the last death, guys? Because you can see, uh, you're watching the whole thing. You're watching me going into the marker. You're watching me go down this road again. This usually means that there's no more deaths, but is that true? Are the deaths 136 or are there more? Uh, we shall see, we shall see, you shall see, I shall see too. Well, I know the deaths, <laughs> the exact number, so I don't need to see it. What the flip are you doing, bro? Kill, good, 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 100, 1200. Mm -hmm. I don't have much ammo to work with. Also, after the death, I restart the. Just the the save game and start save game because if I if I just do this continuously, just die and go back here, go die and die back here, I would just uh, lose all my ammo and that would suck. Because no ammo is uh, suckish for the minigun, dudes. If I didn't have the minigun here, can you imagine how difficult it would be without a minigun? Uh, seriously, I'm I mean I'm super serious here. How can you do this without a minigun? It's possible, sure, but it would have taken me pff, at least 20 more tries, I guess. Because the AK, sure, it's powerful, but it's not that powerful. Yeah. I don't see a stupid invisible fire. <laughs> stupid fire, I hate you. How could you kill me if you were invisible? That's not fair. <laughs> oh, this game. Sometimes it's... I guess it's not buggy. Of course, it's a mod, it's from the mod, I think. I see this is Invisible Fire too. It was on the right side. It could have touched me, or it could have touched it. Also, this, I think, is the Invisible Fire right here, which killed me before. So, I am very careful, and each time I restart this mission, I made sure to clear this fire here. Yeah, see, Invisible, if I touch it, I'm dead. See, see, guys, there's smoke there. <laughs> I can't see it, but I have to extinguish it. It's okay, it's okay. It's one dead extra. Lots of the deaths could have been prevented super easily. Like, for instance, falling from the bike, doing a wheelie and dying after doing the wheelie. That uh, could have been prevented uh, very easily. Uh, but some things cannot, like uh, the mega shots from the people. The super accurate people, they cannot be prevented. At least the majority of them cannot be. But many could have. And I didn't prevent the deaths. The majority of these are from bikes. Bike crashes, a uh, bike... Did I, f did I do fall damage deaths? I think I did one or two. Or did I? Hmm. Can't remember. Also, I cannot see here. Yeah. If I put my goggles on, I would be able to see even less. Because of the fire. Because the fire makes everything super bright. And since everything is green, it's even whiter and it's gonna suck. Actually, did I try it with the mod? With the mod it could be different. Guys, I have less than a thousand bullets! Ooh. I hit, guys, I hit 10,000 bullets, <laughs> and I have 1,000 now. Ugh, boy, that's a lot. Whoa, they could have easily killed me here. Woo, good, I'm very good. I'm not good. <laughs> I have 136 dead so far. I'm not good. It's my paper now, it's my paper now bitches. Yeah, bitches. Let's go. Firewall. Let's extinguish it, we have 2 minutes and 50 seconds, which is way more than enough. Because I think I passed two check two not checkpoints, but two parts of the going back trip. Ooh, watch out, ooh, slow. Okay, this is the exit, oh, good. 
And now guys, it is the easy part. Well, it's not done yet, of course. We still have some peeps here. And also this invisible fire, which I want to extinguish before I continue. Like that fire over there, <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's in the ground and I wanna... Ooh, dude, man, I, I could have died from that. Seriously, I could have died easily from that. Because there could have been fire there. Yeah, fool! Stupid fool! Be careful, be very slow, very careful. And there we go, guys, another checkpoint! Awesome! Doosh, doosh. And there we go! Oh, it's so beautiful! The next checkpoint is done, guys, and now it's time for the easy stuff! Yeah, guys, it's easy! After this is very easy. Ten penny, you motherfucking piece of shit. I ain't letting you get away with all you've done. Sweet, no! No, sweet! Come back to us. We want you. There we go, guys. We are moving on. Let's go. This stuff is beginning, and the hard part was the indie. This stuff, because currently I'm in a car. How can I die here? Come on, sweet, I'm gonna get you! Oh, wait for me, bro! I'm yours! I'll get you! Oh, excuse me, dude! <laughs> and also, this car is bulletproof, I think it's damage proof overall. Yeah, pretty sure. Also, there's some bushes on the road, which is not normal. I mean, in the normal game, there's no bushes. Of course, there's bushes, but they're not on the road itself. Oh, so many Molotovs. Also, I got lots of cash, 185,000. Well, I guess I haven't used much for weapons and stuff. I did buy weapons, but not much. What did I use it for? I think mostly weapons. Oh, yes, I bought a safe house. Look at you, dude. <laughs> they just see him. Stupid car. Yeah, I think I bought about maybe 10,000 worth of ammo and armor. Uh, not armor, but <laughs> I can't buy armor here. But I think I bought some weapons worth about 10,000, I would guess. I don't know. And I also bought two safe houses. Pretty sure it's two safe houses. Should be two. I bought the exclusive one in in the countryside. I bought a hotel which was 5,000, I think. Did I buy anything else? Hmm. I don't think I bought anything. I can't remember, guys. You bastard. Don't let go of the bastard. Let's go. Hang on, sweet. I'm gonna get you. Come back to us. Whoop. Excuse me, stupid coppers. Hate you coppers. And here begins the a kind of difficult part because we have to be very precise and not lose sweet. And if I crash, if I flip, it's over and whatnot. <laughs> what did I just say? So I'm trying here to get out, I think. I think. Am I trying? I think I'm trying. Oh, yes, I'm trying to get out. Oh, no, I wasn't. I guess. And look at this. Yep, guys, <laughs> I died as the easy stuff. <laughs> oh, I died as the easy stuff. <laughs> this could have been prevented. I was worried what was gonna happen. I thought I could flip it over. I thought it was also flip proof. I think that was my thought process. Pretty sure that I thought that it was um, flip proof. Because if you flip it, since it's damage proof from molotovs, from bullets and whatnot, I thought that if you flip it, it's also proof. But no, it's not. That sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna save, of course. Just to make sure. Because I did a, a checkpoint, I took a checkpoint, and I don't want to repeat the whole stuff again, guys. All of that crap I have to repeat. No sprung, bro. Okay, let's go. 
motherfucking piece of shit. I ain't letting you get away with all you've done. Sweet, no! And unfortunately, you have to watch this stuff again. So again, I'm gonna ask, was that the last death? Let me think for a second. Let I'm gonna let you think for a second. So you're seeing this whole trip again, which means that I'm not gonna fail this part again, because you're seeing the whole stuff, the whole trip, right? Okay, so notice on this part. In the next part, can you even die? Hmm? They cannot shoot you. They can shoot your car, and that's usually a very easy part. I'm a piss on your corpse, Timpenny. I ain't losing this fool. Oh shit. Yeah, so will I die now? Huh? I don't know. We just have to watch the whole stuff again, which is kind of boring watching it again, but it, it's fun, it was fun for me. So I hope it's fun for you guys to watch. I hope people are still watching this series. It has been so many episodes, 18 whole episodes. Ugh, oh, I'm a grandpa now. Hey, hang on, bro. Yeah, it has been a long time, I think two months since I started this series and some of you hopefully are gonna still watch it. Ah, stupid, stupid glitches. Right, let's go. Just a little more, don't you worry, guys. And we're done with this series. I hope you enjoy it. I hope... Uh, I hope I do something like this in the future, maybe for Vice City. If there is an OHKO mod or OHKO mod or Summer mod, I could do something. Depends on if you guys stuck around. And if you guys want me to, of course, because I could also continue this series to 100%, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I just think of stuff at the last second. For instance, if I, if I have a plan, for instance, if I have a plan for next week, the whole week could be scheduled, I could have specific videos for that specific week, and all of a sudden I could wake up and say, huh, you know what, you know what, I want to change everything. <laughs> and do the completely opposite thing. And put the other videos on the back burner. So, I don't know. I could change my mind. Also, did you just... Also, that that flip was complete a complete piece of crap. If you remember, I, I flipped from nothing, I think. It was a bike, I guess? I crashed into a bike? And that sucked. Very much. So here, on this part, you can't really die. The car could explode, but that has never happened to me, guys. Like, for real, never. It has never happened to me. I don't even know what happens when when it explodes. Is there dialogue? Does something else happen? Is there an extra cutscene? I doubt there's an extra cutscene, but there's probably some dialogue. I don't know. Doesn't matter. What matters, guys, is that I have 137 dead so far. Mm hmm. We just go hide a lot. And here the machine pistol skill is increasing, which is useless to me now because I'm done with the game. But it's nice to have, I guess. Okay, okay. You have the easy job. I have the hard job, dude. Well, um, that's not necessarily true. Because you have to go through so many barricades and you have to drive well in the rain, too. So his job is pretty good, too. I mean, it's pretty important, too. It's pretty hard. Like my job. How can you look at the bridge and drive at the same time? You're a wizard, Harry. Or sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. Sweet sweet cheeks. Ah, oh, you're sweet cheeks. Your cheeks are sweet. <laughs> no, no, no. The sweet cheeks here are only for Denise. I'm going next to... I'm right next to Denise's house, so I could go and say hello. Hello, Denise! I'm bringing the, the cavalry is coming. The bullets, the many bullets. 
are coming. The British are coming. Shut up, sweetie. Shut up! God damn it! Stop talking! <laughs> I wanna talk. Oh, do you guys can you guys even hear me through this this shooting? I guess I'll I'll lower the volume of the the bullets. Cause they're too loud. From the mama asshole, yes, the assholes come from the mama asshole. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? So my car damage is decreasing or increasing, I guess is the right way to say it. My car is getting more damaged. But as you can see, I'm pretty close to the finish line. The finish line is on the other bridge. Not this bridge, of course, and also this chick. Look at this chick. This chick just... <laughs> Just line it on my hood. That's so cool. No, no, cheeky! <laughs> the cheeky is gone. Oh. And guys, the finish line is here. Let's watch the cutscene. Well, I'm not gonna watch the cutscene, I'm just gonna skip the cutscene, obviously. But guys, guys. It's over! The game is over! I am done, guys! The playthrough is done. You're watching this cutscene and I'm gonna skip it in 3, 2, 1, go! There we go, guys! The game is complete. The final death counter is 137. Who guessed it? Huh? Who guessed it? Did somebody guess this number? In the first episode, I asked you guys to guess how many times I'll die in this whole playthrough. Lots of people participated and I got some pretty pretty good guesses. Did somebody guess correct? Oh, let's see. These are all the guesses on the screen. 188 people participated with 131 unique guesses. I'm aware that many of these were from alternative accounts, but the cheaters did not guess correctly, so no need to worry. The guesses ranged from 7 deaths to almost 1 billion deaths. The most had the number 200 with a whole 5 people guessing it. But no, the actual death counter is 130. And the winner of the guessing game is Nightwingle or Nightwingle 535. Congratulations, dude or do that. You are the winner. As promised in the first episode of the series, the winner will get a gift from me, and that is one of the games GTA 3, Vice City, or San Andreas. Unfortunately for Nightwingle 535, that's a hard name to say. He or she is not interested in receiving a game, but only wanted to participate. Fair enough, thank you for participating. Since I'm not such a bad guy, even though that word is in my name, I'll now pick a winner with the closest guess. Let's have a closer look. The deaths are 137. What are the closest numbers? 136 and 138. Nobody guessed this. Next we have 135 and 139. Again, nothing. Then we have 134 and 140 and oh look, two people guessed 140, Mario Bay and X Gamer X. Congratulations my dudes, you are the secondary winners. Both of you want San Andreas as a gift, so your job now is to leave your Steam account name in a comment of this video since YouTube removed the private message feature. Just leave a comment. Alternatively, you can leave your Twitter name and DM me on Twitter your Steam account. If neither of you contact me in two weeks, I'll choose another winner. When this video is published, I'll be out of town for four days, so I may not reply directly, but when I come back, just don't panic. If you did everything correctly, you get your game. Thank you everyone who participated and supported this series. I had a blast and may continue it to 100% in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.